What's up guys? It's never been a better time to build a startup as a non-technical entrepreneur. Let me explain. There's this amazing new technology that allows you to build software without coding at all. You can basically drag and drop functionalities, point click, you can create all the logic in plain English without having to understand crazy words like HTML, CSS, all that crazy jargon. And the best part is that it has never been more powerful. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the 10 myths about building startups without code. Let's go. What's up folks, welcome back to the show. Christian Peverelli here, the co-founder of We Are No Code. In this channel, we talk about building startups as non-techies, and if you'd like to subscribe or like, please do so immediately. Now, before I jump into the myths about no code, let's quickly talk about what that is. Again, it's about building apps, websites, platforms without coding at all. So there are a huge number of solutions out there to be able to build software or to be able to automate systems without coding at all. And they're about to revolutionize entrepreneurship as well as innovation. Some tools are all-in-one builders, other tools are by connecting a couple of tools together and in that way we're building. And over the past two years, there has been a huge amount of funding or investment that's been going towards these startups. So for example, Bubble just raised $100 million, Webflow raised $70 million, Uncork raised hundreds of millions of dollars. So many funding rounds, I will show a couple of them right here, are going towards these tools because investors are really excited about this movement and they know that it's going to empower a whole new generation of builders. But as every new technology, there are so many myths behind these technologies and I really just wanna clarify a couple of those myths. Myth number one, you need to be technical to build apps, to build software. Now that was absolutely the case back in the day. You need to have a coder, you need that coder to essentially build out the functionalities behind your platform and with no code, that is completely changing. The great thing is that these tools are way quicker to learn. So if you look at coding, it takes about three to six years to get really good at. With no code in three to six months, you can become incredibly good and start building complex software. And we'll get into that a little bit later. And just so you know, I'm not lying about this. This is Danny Bell. She essentially had no experience. She quit her job in consulting and had no plan B. She was a little burnt out and she chose to start building a company. Again, no technical skills and no entrepreneurial skills either. She picked up no code tools and within eight weeks was able to build her full product. 12 months later, she had scaled that to $30,000 in monthly recurring revenue. So it's absolutely real. You can build very serious businesses with this. And I'll talk about a couple of examples of people who have taken it even further than that. So sure, there are certain technical concepts that you have to understand, but for so long, the tech industry has been amazing at basically overcomplicating relatively simple concepts. So when they're broken down in plain English, it's pretty easy to understand. And then when you leverage these tools, it really just depends on which tool that you're trying to learn. There's going to be a different learning curve. Some tools you can get amazing results within one, two or three weeks. Others, you're gonna to want to invest a little bit more time, a couple of months, for example. So myth number two is that you can only build simple solutions leveraging these no-code tools. Now that absolutely used to be the case. So if we think of some of the early sort of uh, no-code tools like Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, you could only really build landing pages, websites or e-commerce stores. And now that has completely changed and revolutionized. You can now build messaging apps, you can build marketplaces, you can build things like Netflix, you can even build Zoom, and a lot of these platforms have actually been completely cloned leveraging no-code tools, even platforms like Uber. Now again, no-code doesn't mean no work. If you wanna learn some of these deeper functionalities, it will take a little bit longer. But again, when you compare that to learning how to code, it is an absolute no-brainer specifically for non-technical people. Myth number three, building software is expensive. Absolutely, that was the case when you had to hire several developers or an agency to build it for you. However, now with no code, it could not be cheaper, but don't take my word for it. I wanted you to check out this graph that was created by Forward Partners, they're an investor based in London in the UK, they invest in early stage startups and they really compare this old way of building with the new way of building. And so when they talk about the difference in cost, they go from $50,000 all the way down to $1,000 or less to build out that MVP, launch it in the market and start getting first paying customers. In fact, that we are no code, we actually built a platform called Clear Segment. It only took us 10 days and cost $40 to build the entire platform from the ground up. And again, 
Most of that building time was really just conceptualizing. Only about two days was spent on the build itself. And the funny part about it was the only reason that we built that platform was to teach founders in our program how to use the tools that we teach as we're going through the process of building out the platform itself. So again, it is not expensive. You can get started immediately. And that's what makes this so exciting. Now, maybe the most crucial mistake people make is to think that building an app, a platform is the same thing as building a business. Now, unfortunately, about 90% of all apps in the app store built with code or without code are zombie apps. So they're not being used. They haven't been used in the past 30 days. And so it's a really much bigger problem when we talk about building businesses. You need to actually think and consider a lot of other factors than just the platform. You need to figure out what is the best business model to employ? What should I be building to begin with, right? You can build the idea you have in the head, but clearly there's gonna be a difference between what customers want and what you want. You need to learn about customer acquisition, so how to get customers, how to do marketing, how to do sales, how to convert those users over time into paying customers. And so it's kind of a trap to think that building a software product, people will automatically flock towards it and you will get hundreds of millions of users. That is simply not the way the building startups works. And that's the reason really why we built the no-code startup at We Are No Code. It's really to teach both those sides how the step-by-step -step curriculum of how you can actually build and launch startups. And then within that context, you wanna learn some curated no-code tools, how to use them and get support throughout the launch process, the growth process, et cetera. But before I start jumping into a full-blown pitch, let's keep going with some of these myths. Again, if you're liking this video, please like, comment, ask us to talk about specific topics. I would love your feedback. My birthday's coming up. Please give me an early presence. Now, myth number five, no code startups are not taken seriously. Okay, let me give you a couple of examples here. This is a company called Comet. They've raised over $18 million in funding and they started off by building out their platform fully in no code. And this company is currently making $600,000 in monthly revenue. And then we have Nuage Stay, which is a luxury Airbnb. They were able to use no code tools to scale from only a couple hundred thousand dollars all the way to $5 million in revenue. Now that's annual revenue. They chose to raise zero capital from investors and keep all of their equity or all the shares or the ownership of their company. Then we have another example like Plateau, which is a marketplace, which means that there are buyers, sellers, and there are transactions, kind of like Airbnb. Now Plateau got into Y Combinator, which is the number one startup accelerator in the world currently. They did that all without coding, and they were also now able to raise more than $13 million for that venture. So. Do you think they're being taken seriously? Absolutely. In fact, the ability to take action, even though you're non-technical, is something that entrepreneurs, investors, and accelerators are very, very impressed by. And investors are investing in startup founders, meaning that the ability to go from zero to a couple hundred thousand dollars without hiring coders is impressive. What do you think they would do with a couple million dollars? And so just to put it mildly, yes, Investors, accelerators, they take no-code startups very seriously. The most important thing when you approach those people is to have three to six months of revenue. So instead of just waiting for a tech co-founder or trying to raise money to build something which doesn't work anymore, you should be leveraging no-code tools. Now, myth number six is this, this is just a fad. Now, let's let the professional investors tell us whether it's not a fad. Usually investors are investing in a 10-year time horizon and they are heavily investing in these platforms, as I mentioned earlier. Here's a list of a couple of them. Check them out and see why they're investing in these technologies because they believe that this is the future of building software. Number seven, what about cybersecurity? Is building with no code cyber secure or not? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Essentially, yes, it is much better to build from the ground up with no code tools because you're leveraging the cybersecurity efforts of the platforms themselves. All these platforms are being audited and they are making their own efforts in terms of cybersecurity. So it will be always more secure to do that than to just have a couple developers who are trying to just get features out without too, too much concern about the cybersecurity behind it. So you essentially get to stand on the shoulders of these giants. So Christian, you're telling me it's completely bulletproof from hacking? 
No, but neither are a lot of massive companies. There are headlines every other week of some of the largest tech companies that have been hacked and had a huge data breach. Obviously, you're not always foolproof, but it is much safer to go with a no-code platform than just a couple developers to begin with. Now, number A is probably one of the biggest ones. No-code is not scalable. Now, again, this is a huge myth. And I think it comes from the fact that probably about five years ago, that was the case. It was very difficult. As soon as you had thousands of users, then you needed to migrate to a custom backend or you need to build it from the ground up. That is no longer the case. The more investment is going into these companies, the more they are developing ways for you to host hundreds of thousands of people. And so when we look at the top three to five no-code platforms, they have really robust scaling mechanisms. It is in their interest for you to be able to scale up to more people because as you scale up, you need more server space and they can charge you a little bit more, which is just completely normal. And let's talk about this. Whether a product is built with code or without code, you're at some point gonna need to have to rebuild entire parts of at least the infrastructure that you're scaling or, and if not, the entire app itself. So when you look at these massive companies that have built into empires like Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, these have been rebuilt time and time again, simply because it is natural for products to evolve. And as we scale, we need to rebuild parts of it. Awesome. I hope you're still entertained. And if not, here's a little cat emoji just so you stay entertained and with me. Myth number nine, no code is completely going to replace coding. Now, unfortunately, that is no longer the case. All of these platforms, these no-code platforms, are built with code behind it. That's how you don't have to interact with the code, but there's code behind everything you build. Now, obviously, it's going to replace a huge number of mediocre developers. Is that bad? I'd say probably not, right? Evolution of technology is just a natural thing and we should accept it and we should leverage these tools as competitive edges. But on the other hand, it really doesn't make sense for everyone to continue coding the same lines of code with the same features. Think of how many coders out there in every single company has had to create a Facebook login. It's crazy and we're literally wasting people's time doing that. So that's why this is an exciting movement as well. And finally, number 10. No code is only for smart people or for people in tech hubs or people who have had a formal education. This is the most powerful thing about no code. It can allow people who are in underserved communities in any country in the world that literally wants to add value, wants to spend some time to learn some of these hard skills to be able to build software, to be able to automate systems. So that's really what this is all about. It's about going from this tiny portion of developers, more specifically 0.3%, so less than a third of a percent of people know how to code, right? Now we're giving this opportunity to this entire new generation of people who will be able to build software without coding. So I hope that that excites you. And I know that it's going to level the playing field and it is a huge opportunity for anyone. So before your employer forces you to learn these tools or you're forced at school to take no code lessons, use this as a competitive advantage. Imagine if you were one of the people who learned how to code 50 years back. I mean, 30 years ago, they literally had signs in San Francisco hiring anyone who had coding skills. That's how valuable it was. And we're seeing more and more large companies leverage no-code tools. We're seeing more and more companies hiring for no-code roles. So get involved. I hope this was useful. If you'd like to join, wearenocode.com. Check us out. We also have a showcase page where you can see more examples. Join our program or not. Like this video. See you guys later. And check out this awesome video that I've created teaching you how step-by-step step, to build your startup from the ground up with only 20 bucks. Hasta luego, amigos.